Welcome to Kingsborough Community College Digication ePortfolio Student Tutorial. Digication ePortfolio. What is an ePortfolio? ePortfolios are platforms for students, teachers, alumni, and professionals to showcase their work and ideas. They are archives of learning, discovery, progress, achievement, and reflection. A few uses of ePortfolios include assessment, admissions, interactive resumes, student galleries, teacher resources, collaborative project portfolios, and research presentation. It's a simple and quick way to create a website as well. It doesn't require any computer programming skills. Let's take a look at a sample of Digication's ePortfolio before we move on to create our own. Digication's ePortfolio is broken down in three parts sections, pages, and modules. Sections are considered topics. Under each section, you will find pages, consider them subtopics within that section or topic. Under each page, you will find modules where we actually place the content for the ePortfolio. Let's take a look at a sample ePortfolio. In this ePortfolio, there is a section called Home with four pages, Introduction, Personal Philosophy of Education, and Table of Contents. If we click on the page called Introduction, we'll find some modules that contain content. On this page, we have modules that are text modules. Let's click on another section, Educational Standards. Underneath Educational Standards, there are two more pages each containing more text modules. Each piece of text is a new module. If we click on Home, we'll find a picture as well. So we have sections, pages, and modules. Let's practice those things right now. Login, creating new portfolio, and permissions. Begin by opening up an internet browser. It's preferred that you use Mozilla Firefox. Go to the following website. You may also go into Google and type in Kingsborough Digication, and it should be the first one that appears. In the ePortfolio login, you will find the student login and the faculty login. Please follow these instructions precisely. If you are having trouble logging in, you may contact the help desk at extension 6679. Let's log in and take a look at Education's ePortfolio. Upon logging in, you will be taken to the main screen called the My ePortfolio screen. You will find all your ePortfolios there. Let's click on Create. Start off by titling your ePortfolio. Notice, choose a template. If your school has a template, you may pick it from this list. If you do not see a template in this list, click on More Templates. You will see a search area or your school you'll be able to pick on CUNY Kingsborough Community College Templates. I'm going to click on ECE Portfolio Template and then I would click on Select if I want to choose a template. I will not be choosing one now. In the Permissions area, you have three choices. Private to me, which means that the views are only for you unless you send a link to somebody private within CUNY Kingsborough Community College, which means it's viewable to users for Kingsborough Community College who are using Digication's ePortfolio, or public, which means anybody using Digication's ePortfolio can look at it. I'm going to click on Private to Me. You may also click on Custom Permission to add a user to also be able to look at it. I'm going to add a friend of mine to it. I'm going to type his last name in, pick his name, and then change his role. I may also remove it if I wish to. 
There are four options under additional permissions that you can change the role to. Viewer can view your ePortfolio. Editor can edit your ePortfolio but not publish. Publisher can edit and publish your ePortfolio. And Admin can edit ePortfolio settings including adding and removing user edits and publish your ePortfolio. Under Tagging, please click on Do Not Allow Tags. Then click on Create New ePortfolio. Once you have created a new ePortfolio, you will be brought to the default page, which has one home section, and underneath that home section, one page called Welcome. It should say No Content Added Yet. We're going to create a sample ePortfolio and add content, sections, pages, and modules. Remember that Digication's ePortfolio is broken down into three parts. Sections, which are considered topics. Pages, which are subtopics within each section. And modules. You use modules to add content. Let's add a module by clicking Add a Module. There are four basic types of modules. Image, video, audio, rich text, gallery, and contact form. Let's start off by clicking Rich Text. Then add this module. It always drops the module below. Here's a sample text module. Notice the menu on the top of each module. You can click on Edit to actually put information and content within the actual module. I click on Edit and a text box appears. I'm going to add a sentence. Notice it looks a little bit like Microsoft Word. You can make any of those changes as well, including adding images, audio, links, bold, underline, whatever formatting you wish. Click on Save. Then View Text. And you should be able to see your text module you added. Scroll up and click on I'm Done. On the top of the module, it says Draft in a big, bold, red line. This module has unpublished changes. We're going to publish things later. But essentially, no one can see your changes you make to your ePortfolio until you publish it. Remember that, though. Let's click on Add a Module. We're going to add a different type of module called Gallery. Add this module. And you should see the Gallery module appear. Below it is still your text module. It always drops it on top of it. Let's click Edit, Add Media, and we'll search for a picture to add to the gallery. A window will appear. Click on Browse for Media. I'm going to find a picture on my computer I'm using now. I'm going to click it, click Open, and once it finishes uploading, I'm going to click on Done. I'm going to add another picture just so you can see what it looks like with a couple pictures on it. Click Add Media. Browse for Media. Pick another picture. Click on Open. Let it upload. And click on Done. I'm going to add a third picture. After you have added a few pictures, you have a few options, including Edit Caption, you can link to the slide, you can delete it, you can change the image or video. You may add as many pictures as you wish. Let's click on View Gallery to take a look what it looks like. Click on any one of the pictures above and it will appear in the middle. Click on Edit. Let's add a caption just to see what that looks like. Notice the text box. Simple. Just add a sentence. Change any font or colors you wish. A 
and then click on Save Caption. Click on View Gallery, and you'll see the caption on the bottom of whatever picture you put it on. Let's scroll up. I'm going to click on I'm Done, just to get rid of the screen, to see what we have so far. We have two modules, one gallery, and one text. Now that we have added some modules to the page called Welcome, we're going to add another page underneath the section called Home. Next to View Pages, click on Add Slash Edit. Then add a page and name the page. I'm going to call it Additional Information. Then click on Save. This box will allow me to delete or change the name. I'm going to scroll up to View Pages and click my new page, Additional Information. And it should say No Content Added. Once again, here's the Welcome page, and here's our new page called Additional Information. I'm going to click on Add a Module and add two more module types. The next type of module I'm going to add is called a Contact Form. Add this module. Scroll down and you will see a contact form. Now this form is not for you to fill out. This is so someone coming to your Digication ePortfolio can send you an email by filling out this information. If we click on settings, we can see what the default email is, which should be your Kingsborough email. We do recommend you keep it Kingsborough email, but if you wish to change it, you can click on settings and then change it to whatever you wish to use and then click on save. Remember to click on View Contact Form to return to the Contact Form view. Click on I'm Done, and there we go. There's our Contact Form. Let's add in one more module type. Image slash video slash audio. Add this module. This module is a sort of all-in-one module. You're going to add video, audio, or pictures. Now we suggest you use the gallery primarily for pictures, but for adding one video, one image, or one audio, you can use this. Let's click on Edit. Replace this media, browse for media, and we're going to add a picture. We're not going to upload a video at this time, but it's the same procedure. Pick a picture, wait for it to upload, and click on Done just like the gallery. What we can also do is replace this media with what's called an embedded video or a streaming video. You're used to seeing this for YouTube. So you click on replace media. Then media from web. Pick the one you want to use, such as YouTube, and you would put the code in here. Let me go retrieve a streaming video or embedded video. I'm going to open up another internet browser. I'm going to go to YouTube, type in Kingsborough and see what comes up. Here's this first video, Kingsborough Community College Marathon. Now below each YouTube video, there should be an option for sharing. Click Share. Then Embed. So there's an internet link that takes you directly to the video, and then there's an embedded link. Let me copy it. Go back to Digication. Paste it in here. Make sure you have YouTube. Then click on I'm done. And it will actually embed within the module. No downloading directly to your computer needed. And it will play the video. This is a great use for this particular module. Click on I'm done. And we should have two modules. A video module with an embedded video. And your contact email. No 